so we are getting a well drilled today. It's finally happening. We're finally starting to make some progress on the property. We, it was kind of complicated um, because we weren't sure whether we had to, we thought we, at first we had to get power out here, but you can't get power unless you have a well permit pulled. So they kind of go hand in hand and given that there's no house out here, it kind of complicates things. So we've got the well getting drilled today. We are getting in touch with an electrician to get the I think it was temporary 60 amp power supply for the well out here soon. Hopefully, hopefully within the next week or two, if not sooner, we'll see. We'll have to see how that goes. Look at that. We're getting duck eggs, yay! I'm so excited about duck eggs. I love duck eggs. They are a little bit bigger than, uh, they're, they're, they're kind of like about the size of extra large chicken eggs. And the yolks are so rich. I love them. So the well guys are here. So we're gonna go ahead and get them set up. I don't need halters, buddy. I need lead ropes. Oh! For the goats, not for the ponies. <laughs> go put that in the shed. These have lead ropes. Okay, I'll take the lead ropes. Go set those down in the shed and get the gate. You know the gate, you know what I'm talking about, right? That I want them to go in. I want you to go put them in that gate, okay? Hannah says, I'm out. <laughs> yes, the pasture gate. Go get the pasture gate. <laughs> Midnight's like, what the heck is going on? Oh, 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 oh. Military. What do you think, Leon? Do you think those were military? Ooh, look at them. You've never seen a well drilled. No. I haven't either. This is gonna be cool. just started digging and he drilling and he said I'm already in water it's just a matter of getting deep enough to get good water so I asked him what is what is normal depth there are some neighborhoods near us that are only 80 feet deep and they hit good water and there are some neighborhoods that are like 180 feet that hit good water so I'm really excited to find out just how deep he's gonna have to dig or drill to get good water for us so how many feet are you two? Right now? Yeah. 40. 
gonna let them continue working on that. Last I checked, they were at 80 feet. Which I don't know how much longer they're gonna be. But while I wait, got my digging fork and I am going to start working on lifting up this soil in the garden because we are about ready to move the chickens to the next batch and we're gonna start mulching in here and getting it prepped. The ladies are starting to figure out that I lifted up from the soil. I got about, let's see, started there, got to about there. Still got that little section to do, but I got half of what I need to get done done today. I'm gonna take a quick break and let them start to see that I had lifted this up. And hopefully they'll start to scratch at it. Once I get to a point where I am ready to mulch this area, I'll let them run out for a little bit longer. But then I'm gonna move them, bring this fence over, about a whole joint, a whole section, and we'll start working our way in that general direction towards extending the garden the way that we want to extend it. And I can, st I can put a tarp down over this and start solarizing it. And I may actually be able to start a winter garden this year. Hoped to have a spring garden this year, but plans change sometimes. Fall is right around the corner though. I believe the official first day of fall is the 23rd. Today's the 19th, so we got four days until the first official day of fall. Though for Florida, that really doesn't mean anything. <laughs> we do start to have some fluctuations in temperature like this morning. Granted, today is gonna only probably be a taste, but this morning I woke up to 71 degrees. It was heavenly, it was amazing. I was in just pure bliss this morning. Um, it's already started to warm up, but it's like now in the mid to high 70s. This is still so much easier to work in. Um, so I'm just kind of just enjoying it while I can because now we start to have that fluctuation where some days we have nice cool 70s and some days we have hot high 80s and 90s. And then we'll finally get to winter where we'll actually have some nice cool weather. But today I'm just kind of taking the chance with this cool weather and doing everything I can out here while they're drilling the well because I need to be out here anyways. So working on the garden. I gotta get Chloe in. She's, I think she's in the back right now. I gotta get her in, get her milk. I've got the goats out right now. They're uh, kind of working on some underbrush. I'll take you over to see them. Now, our goats, they're just personal goats. They don't, I believe they're about four or five years old. We got them from, an, from a small animal auction. I know it's not normally the best place, but we didn't get them for breeding, breeding stock. We kind of just got them to have some, some pet goats. So I've got them set up. Hi, honeys! And they're kind of just working on some underbrush right now. Hi, babies! So we've got this tree that's been taken over by uh, wild muscadine grapevines. And I'm pretty sure the under tree is just dead. I haven't seen if this is a male and female, so I'm not sure if it'll produce any fruit, but I may just leave the muscadines because I'm pretty sure that this oak's probably not gonna be alive if we clear it. So we're just gonna let them clear the underbrush because we're gonna start working on clearing a lot of these weeds and things that are kind of invade, have invaded into here and just make this a little bit more cleaner. So we are bringing out the cavalry. Hi ladies. So. Oh, Brownie, you got yourself tangled. Oh, and you're gone. Come here, honey. Come here. You guys get yourself all tangled up. Fortunately, we don't have another net, so I can't run a net for them. But they're pretty happy in here. Eventually, I would like to have an additional electric net to set up in areas so that they can work on clearing underbrush, dense underbrush, because a problem that we have in here is we have a lot of dense underbrush that has kind of taken over. Um, while there is some stuff that we do want to keep and we'll be very selective in the stuff we get rid of, like we have some wild blackberry. And I love blackberry. So we're gonna selectively keep blackberry, 
but still get rid of a lot of other stuff in here that like we have dog fennel. I don't know if they'll eat the dog fennel, but this will be a good experiment on whether or not they'll eat the dog fennel. The mulberry tree is doing wonderfully. Look at all this new growth coming in. Got leaves everywhere, new buds coming in. And also, let me see if I can find you guys. So there is, there's none down here, but up in the higher parts, I can see blossoms, mulberry blossoms. So that means we may actually get mulberries this year. I did not expect to get any fruit, but we might actually get mulberries. So I've got to anchor stake down this one and pull it down a little bit lower so that it can possibly V out and grow out. But this whole area is going to be such, such a nice shady patch once this grows. And here shortly, here soon, we're going to be bringing the other chicken coop out here. And I'm actually considering setting it up right here so that when, as this tree grows, it'll shade that coop. And I just think that'll be such a nice view to have the coop right there. And it'll be in the back of our yard so that it's not super close to our house, but still easily accessible so I can collect eggs. Uh, that'll house the silky flock and then the main flock will continue to run in the chicken tractor inside the electric poultry net and we'll start once I get the garden started we'll start to work on rotationally grazing them and start to implement a plan where they kind of um, whenever I go to retire a garden bed and move on to a next garden bed they can come in till it up refertilize it eat the old vegetation and clear it out and prep for the next garden bed that will be in that place. Yeah? Wow. So Leon just asked them and they're now down to 150 feet deep and they're still going. So chances are good this could be a pretty deep well. Because um, like I said, there's a neighborhood just down the street from us that's that's an 80 foot, but there's one near us that's 180 feet. So you might, they might be close to 180 feet depth, possibly deeper. This might be a pretty deep well. So curious to see just how deep we're gonna have to go. Okay, so 150 feet was the magic number. They've got the pump and the pressure tank and we're going to have the pump. They're gonna set it up with a uh, three-prong plug so that we can plug it up to a generator until we get power out here so we can still run water so we don't have to bring out those those uh, our 255 gallon water drops. We will have a hose, we can pack full our uh, tank to water the animals and we can go ahead and start bringing out um, water troughs and I can start work on rotationally grazing. got some bad news. Um, so the well was 150 deep, but the water table, in Florida we have a water table, the water table is unfortunately 27 feet deep and they suspect that the reason why is because the dairy across the street from us is pulling so much water that it's lower the water table. So because of that, even though we are hitting water at 150 feet, we're gonna have to get a deep well package set up on our system, which is gonna be more expensive. It was not the news that I wanted to get. But they're talking right now with the big guy at the company, and I'll have an answer soon. 
soon on just what the cost difference is going to be, but that kind of was not the news that we wanted.